Kim Shop just opened their third location in St. Pete Beach and thought 420 would be the best day to celebrate. One concern in the back of their minds is Florida Senate Bill 1698, which would ban many products in their stores. This St. Pete Beach landmark now has a new name. It was the first mayor of St. Pete Beach's home at one point. The Miller family is calling it the hemp spot. A lot of people are coming in for things like, you know, anxiety or pain relief. They chose 420 to celebrate opening their new spot, but they say potential laws are putting a damper on their party. Remember when we approved industrial hemp in 2019, those of you that were here remember very clearly, we were sold a bill of goods that this was industrial uses, industrial hemp. But when we approved it, we inadvertently permitted the sale of a recreational drug, the sale and use of THC. Veterans suffering from PTSD, Individuals with epilepsy, individuals who are fighting cancer and have testified about the difference this has made. We are hurting Floridians from all walks of life. Senate Bill 1698 would ban Delta 8 products, which includes gummies, vapes, and limits THC levels in products. The dosage has to be so small, and, and it can only have so much in the package to where, you know, it cancels out pretty much 95% of the products that we're able to even sell. This bill is sitting on the governor's desk to sign or veto. Being a business owner alone it has its own stresses and things you got to worry about. It's going to put us out of business is what's going to happen um, if it goes through. Another issue Miller is focused on is Amendment 3 on the ballot in November. It would allow the sale and possession of recreational marijuana for people 21 and older, but only in medical marijuana centers. Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay.